My journey began two years ago on a suicidal night. It was two years ago tonight it started. And on, well, I had been struggling really badly with severe PTSD from a sexual assault that almost took my life. And on that particular night, there was a moment of laughter that when I was watching The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, that changed everything for me. And I made a decision that night that I was going to use that laughter, and I was somehow going to get on that show as a guest. And that's what began this quixotic journey for me to get through severe PTSD. I made the decision that every day I was going to go out and meet strangers for four hours a day, tell them the story of what I'm going through, see if they'd sign messages of support on these giant foam poster boards I carry around. And what I do too, I give them 26 Sharpie markers so people can put anything they want with these. And today now is the 722nd day in a row I've gone all over the country and I tell people my story. I've now met 23,200 people that have heard my story and they've shared the most amazing messages of support and hope on 344 of these giant foam poster boards. And it's been, I always knew this was going to bring a lot of awareness to PTSD and sexual assault, but I wasn't prepared that people were going to be telling me something much, much bigger. And believe me, you guys, I've read all of these messages, tens of thousands of them, and people will put poetry, they put artwork, short stories, jokes. I mean, people have put mathematical equations. They put everything on these, believe me. But I started realizing that there was a bigger message people were leaving me, and they were actually telling me what the American dream is. And it consists of two things, simplicity and happiness. And it's, to me, it was really fascinating because I thought, this is actually, simplicity is what I do every day. I simply go out and I meet strangers. And then I'm vulnerable every day, so I'm simply just sharing my story. And so many psychologists have weighed in on this, and they said, because you're so vulnerable, People are actually simply sharing back with you, and people do share back with me. Um, and probably one of the greatest tools that I, well, it is the greatest tool I use, it's the Sharpie marker, but I actually give it to people so they can express themselves any way they want. There's absolutely something magical about a Sharpie because I watch grown adults turn into kids, eight-year-old kids when they get a hold of these things, and there's something really creative. And if you think back when you were eight years old, life was simple, and Anything was possible, and the Sharpie reminds people of that. And I'm going to tell you guys, too, about there's a, a movie. I'm going to make a movie reference here because it ties in so nicely with this whole journey I've been on. It's the movie Citizen Kane. It's, it goes back like 80 years, but it's the greatest movie of all time, according to all these critics. And in this movie, the main character, well, he ends up, I mean, spoiler alert, he dies. Um, <laughs> he's 80 years old. Um, but towards the end of the movie, he passes away. But before he does, he's on his deathbed, and he's holding a, um, a snow globe. And as he drops it, as he dies, he says the word rosebud. And all these different characters in the movie are trying to figure out what is the meaning behind that. And none of the characters in the movie find out, but we, the viewers, do at the end. And we're taken back to when this main character was eight years old. And at that time, he was taken away from his family and friends and put in a boarding school against his wishes. And when he's on his deathbed, he's actually sitting there thinking back to when he was eight years old. And he was sledding in Colorado down these hills, and the name of his sled was Rosebud. And to me, that's so powerful because think about this. Here's a guy that has everything, fame, he's got fortune, and he's not happy. It was the simplicity and happiness of this guy being eight years old and having a sled called Rosebud. And to me, that was powerful. And I tried to carry that over into my life. And I thought, on this journey I'm on, two years ago tonight, I'm suicidal. And I'm thinking, well, there's a moment of laughter that changes everything for me. And I paused that show. And it was just the simplicity of an eight-year-old mindset I had that said, I'm going to get on this show. And then this happiness, just that moment of laughter, that happiness, so I found simplicity and happiness, but really it took tens of thousands of you guys that I met over the last 722 days to actually tell me that what I found that night, that simplicity and happiness, I had actually found the American dream. Thanks, you guys.